Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting session where I'm going to compare two of the most widely used deep learning frameworks which are Theano and TensorFlow. Now the era of deep learning is at its peak. It's going to create 2.3 million jobs by 2020 and with new frameworks coming up every month, TensorFlow and Theano have been there for a while and have gained a good amount of popularity as well. So we're going to talk about them and compare both of these frameworks in certain aspects. Now before we move forward, let's understand what exactly is Theano. So Theano can be defined as a library for scientific computing and it was developed by the University de Montreal and has been available since 2007. It allows you to define, optimize and evaluate mathematical expression involving multi-dimensional array efficiently and it can run on both CPU and GPU. Now what is TensorFlow? TensorFlow is an open source software library by Google Brain for data flow programming across a range of tasks. It is a symbolic math library that is used for machine learning application like neural networks. Now if you compare both of these languages or the frameworks, so popularity wise Theano being an older framework is not that popular among data scientists or researchers. It was once upon a time but not now. Whereas TensorFlow is hands down the most famous deep learning framework and is used in a lot of research. And if you talk about the execution speed, Theano performs tasks faster than TensorFlow, especially the single GPU tasks that run way faster in Theano. Whereas TensorFlow's execution speed is slower as compared to Theano, but in multi GPU tasks, it takes the lead. Now if you talk about the technological benefits, Theano supports a wide range of operation. TensorFlow still has to come at par with Theano in that aspect. And Theano computes the gradient when determining the backpropagation error. And that's not the case for TensorFlow, but don't worry guys, I'm going to explain this whole point in more detail when we talk about the programming aspect. And in Theano, you have the full control over optimizers as you have to hard code it. Whereas in TensorFlow, it gives access to a lot of good optimizers out of the box, which makes coding easier. Now, if we talk about the compatibility, Keras, an amazing deep learning library, is compatible with Theano and it integrates well. But in case of TensorFlow, it's not quite there yet. However, in the version 2.0, this won't be the case because they just released the 2.0 alpha version and it's going to be soon in the production line. It's going to be soon used in the production and one of the key features of TensorFlow 2.0 is its extensive use of Keras. Theano has native Windows support, whereas TensorFlow currently does not have that. Well, if you talk about Theano, it also supports high level wrappers like lasagna, but for TensorFlow, there's no support. Talking of support, if you talk about the community support out there in the internet, Theano has a bigger community support as it came way before TensorFlow, and it has more documentation than TensorFlow as well. But TensorFlow's online community support is increasing rapidly and not even rapidly, I should say exponentially because it's getting popular day by day and anything which is not there in TensorFlow will come in the next iteration very soon. And the documentation is comparatively lesser now as compared to that of Theano, but in the future that thing is going to change. Now, if we talk about the code readability, so let us compare Theano and TensorFlow based on their code. So here I'm taking a basic example script where we will take some phony data and initialize the best fit for the data so it can predict future data points. So guys, as you can see, this is the code for Theano and this is the code for TensorFlow. Lengthwise, both the codes are almost similar. There's not much difference. Two identically generated NumPy arrays describing the input and the target output. But if we have a closer look at the model initialization, as you can see here, that TensorFlow does not require any special treatment of X and the Y variables. On the other hand, Theano requires an extra effort to make sure that the variables are symbolic inputs to the function. The definition of P and W are explanatory and also nicer in case of Theano, but then again, it makes your code a little lengthy. Now if we talk about the learning, which is the optimization. So as you can see, I have numbered the code as one, two and three. So one in case of TensorFlow, if we compare both. So in case of TensorFlow and Theano, if we compare the first line, which is marked as one, which is the 
mean squared error, it's almost the same for Theano and TensorFlow, not much of a difference. But then again, if we talk about two, which is defining the optimizer, it is easy and simple as it gets in case of TensorFlow. But Theano gives you a great deal of control over the optimizers, although it's quite lengthy and increases the verification effort. So as you can see in TensorFlow, we have only a single line, whereas in Theano, we have three lines to describe that and it's quite lengthy as well. Now, the third line which I'm going to talk about is the training function. And if you can see here, the code is almost like similar, but then again, you can see the code for Theano is a little lengthier. Now, if we talk about the training body, the code for training is almost identical, but encapsulating the graph execution in session object is conceptually cleaner than that of Theano. Now, which brings us to the final verdict. Which is better, Theano or TensorFlow? Well, on a concluding note, it can be said that both APIs have similar interface, but TensorFlow is comparatively easier to use as it provides a lot of monitoring and debugging tools. Theano takes the lead in usability and speed, but TensorFlow is better suited for deployment. Now, paperwork or documentation for Theano is more than TensorFlow, and TensorFlow being a new language, people don't have many resources to begin with. The open source deep learning libraries such as Keras, Lasagna, and the Blocks have all been built on top of Theano, which makes Theano a very good deep learning framework. As of now, the last release of Theano was made in 2017, and the University of Montreal decided to not pursue this further due to some reasons. But then again, it's a very good deep learning framework. No, I hope this comparison was enough for you to decide which framework to opt for. And if you guys have any queries regarding this session, please feel free to mention it in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!